ready? It's the Roundtable with me, Robert Bannon. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Robert Bannon, and welcome to the Roundtable. I'm coming to you live from Atlantic City, New Jersey today. If you're listening to us on the Broadway Podcast Network and can't see that I'm here at the Oceans Hotel and Casino, I have my own show uh, this weekend, the big, my big gay Italian wedding, not the my, but it's not my wedding. So don't, don't worry. Don't send me a Macy's gift card and a Bed Bath. Is Bed Bath & Beyond still a thing? I think they went out of business, but I loved it there. Those 20% off coupons, back to the point. I'm here in Atlantic City making time from rehearsal to talk about something very special coming next week. I was born in 1983. I love television on a Saturday morning on NBC. If it was Saved by the Bell, then you knew it was California Dreams. And 90s nostalgia is bigger than everything as we all turn 40. Gulp. And we are here with Kelly Packard and Jenny Kwan talking about California Dreams reunion that's coming to New York City. I remember being at Jenny Kabibo, who was the person who watched us growing up, me and my brother Sean's house, and we never missed a Saturday. Never missed a Saturday. So we have a very special reunion here for you. You can get your tickets and we'll tell you all about it. Are you enjoying the show? Have you been having fun? We have been debuting red carpets and we've been debuting revivals of past interviews and we have just trucking along. And I want to just say while I have you here for a moment, thank you for the support of the Roundtable on BPN and also uh, on YouTube. It's been such an honor and a privilege and a pleasure. And we have so much more content coming your way. Just going to inundate you with celebrities, red carpets, and scoop with my crazy. I just want to also tell you while you're here that I have an album coming out October 27th called Rewind on the eaves of my 40th birthday. Uh, we did a live album recording at Green Room 42. It has songs that you know and you love. And uh, follow me on Instagram or go to robertbannon.com to make sure you know where it is and when and stream it away. Ah, my goodness. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go back in time. Back to the future. No. Back to the back. <laughs> I know where I was during the 90s. I know the show. I know you know the show. And as I turn 40 this month, we are all in the nostalgia moment. We're all looking back and remembering some of our greatest moments. Kelly Packer, Jenny Kwan are here. I remember California. I feel like a pointer sister. I'm so excited to have them both on this show. Jenny, <laughs> Jenny Kwan and Kelly Packard, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Hey, Robert. Hi. I am. So, I know you both. I grew up watching you both. <laughs> That's so sweet, Jenny. Where did the idea come? To, and this is you guys have reunited in little iterations in the past for television for certain events. You have the entire principal cast of this show coming together. When did the idea come about that? Let's get on stage and let's do a full-on concert. Well, this originated way back in 2019. Um, Kelly and I had gone to this concert. And she was like, well, why can't we do this? And I said, well, we can, but we'd have to do it ourselves, right? And so we put that concert on in 2019, and it was in Los Angeles to an overwhelming <laughs> success. We, we sold out in 20 minutes, and then we added a second show. And then we were going to go on a little mini tour, and my mom got really sick, so I had to kind of cut out, and then COVID happened. Cut to 2023, we talked about it again, and this time we're in New York City with our entire cast, which is just, it's quite a feat in itself. So it's crazy, it's crazy. Kelly, what, what can we expect when we grab our tickets and come down? What is this, what is this day and evening going to be about? <laughs> well, we start the day off early with meet and greets and visits with our fans and pictures and all of that. And then the concert starts at 630. Uh, Thomas, is that right? Thomas Ian Nichols opens for us, Benny, at yeah. 630. And then we'll go on promptly after. Um, we've got a set list that's going to be about an hour and a half long. And all of our California Dreams hits, uh, the ones that everybody knows. And it's going to be all of us. That's, that's the crazy part is we're all going to be there. <laughs> Robert. Here's the, the meet and greet from 10 to 3.30 and then the live concert, like you said, and Thomas in Nichols, who we know from American Pie and Rookie of the Year and all the, and, and he has an amazing band. And yeah, he has a great band. Mm -hmm. So 
Jenny, what, how do you put together a set list like this? What, what do you pull from? What is it like to go back to some of these songs that you haven't sung in 20 years? Yeah, which is, which is actually quite fun. For myself, I haven't sung one of the songs, which will be, you know, we're, we're, we're mixing and matching, but I haven't sung one of my songs since the show. And um, originally when we did the first concert, you know, Kelly and I kind of put the set list together, but now that we have everyone, you know, we all want to be showcased, right? Everybody has their character and what they sang. So we're, we're kind of pulling from different seasons for different characters to sing their very favorite songs. It's it's so much fun. It gives me all the nostalgia and all the feels of up uh, and all. Prekindle.com is where you can get tickets. Search for it when you go to the website and you can get your tickets, your meet and greet tickets. You can be there all day. Meet Absolutely. Everyone. Meet everyone, take pictures with everyone, and then rock on and party on for the show. That's right. Kelly, when you booked this job and you uh, and you got this job, it was like a juggernaut. You were mall tours and, and millions of people every single week. What... How do you describe what it was like when this show took off? It's hard to describe because I was I was still in high school, so I was a teenager when this all happened. And it started off kind of slow, but um, once we started doing those mall tours, I knew we made it. <laughs> it was it was a surreal experience being chased through a mall. <laughs> Absolutely. And Jenny, when you look back to those days, you and Kelly have been friends for since since the close since what what kind of kept you all grounded through the juggernaut we hear so many stories about what it's like to be a child star on television and, and in this business what 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 made you to succeed in the way that you did to have these beautiful careers that you've had Aww. well you know um i would say first of all i want to say that we're so lucky that our whole cast has has really kind of ridden through these waves and Everybody has had some success in their life, whether it be in acting or going on to do different things. And it's not like we're on the headlines of Us Magazine, you know, <laughs> down and out in the gutter. So that, I think that that's really a feat. But I also think, for example, and if I can say, you know, both Kelly and I grew up in, in Los Angeles. And it's kind of a weird sort of way to grow up, right? But we both started really young in our own careers, but I think having a grounded family or, you know, people who keep it real with you, you know what I mean? And to kind of know that this sort of thing, it has its ups and downs, you know what I mean? And you find your people who you can stay connected to if you're lucky enough. Not everybody has that. So, you know, like I said, I, I, I was just saying earlier, I'm like, I don't know where I am. I just was in Texas with Kelly. Now I'm like, what day is it? You know, I mean, that often happens. But again, that we're just we're fortunate to be able to have, you know, like people who keep us grounded. And also, too, it's like you have to find that for yourself, too, you know, within this kind of weird, crazy business. For sure. And then aside from California Dreams, you both, if it's the infamous red bathing suit, if it's musical theater, and <laughs> the voiceover work, I mean, there's plenty of, and all of the sitcom roles and the guest star roles and everything that you all have done in your career. But I'm sure that when you guys are out on the street or at the mall or, you know, at, at, going to, out to dinner, people of all ages around this world remember this show and this time. Yeah. It seems to be, it's really funny when we're together somewhere, it's, we get more recognized because people will see one of us and then they'll see the other one. And it's just like, it's overwhelming <laughs> and it's funny to watch. But for the most part, I mean, we can go, I, I've been living here in Texas now for 13 weeks and I think I've been recognized twice. So it's not like, it's not like it's, you know, I can't have a life. Yes. Well, and I'm sure that, well, you're sure going to be recognized next week. So you better, you better, <laughs> New York City is going to be out and ready, um, I, which is very, very exciting. Here is the, here's a, a photo from, of the cast from, from back in the day. My, I tell my friends that I'm doing this because like I said, I'm, I turned 40 this year and, and it really takes me the, the nostalgia, the nineties nostalgia is at literally an all time high. And my friends told me that, um, they said to me that 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 Michael Cade used to work at his friend. He 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 was in Jersey working at his father's fish store. Oh. Left the fish store to make it as an actor in California. 
<laughs> a couple months later, he is on this show and they flipped the channel and he went from scooping the guppies at the fish store <laughs> to being on the show. You all really came, aside from you both growing up kind of in this business and in Los Angeles, this cast really, it's a lot of people's, Jenny's first job, first real professional job. Yeah, William, same thing. William was in Chicago going to school, uh, living just a normal life. And he sent in a tape for his audition. And next thing you know, he's living in LA on a hit TV show. It's crazy. It's crazy, really crazy. Um, it's going to be so much fun. So everyone, please go get your tickets. Get down there and see see the see the show. Jenny, you you've done a lot of theater. You you've sung a lot. And do some of the cast are not singer have not been singing. What is it like for some of them? Are they a little nervous? Are they excited? What is the general census about getting back on stage and singing together? <laughs> well, um, so it's interesting because, you know, we're all kind of spread out through the country and for example, Jay's in Australia. And so, I mean, Kelly and I, we sang just a few months ago in a show, but for example, for some of our cast members, you know, I've been zooming in with them. I'm like, okay, even today, I'm like, okay, I gotta, you know, text so and so to just go over some music so they feel comfortable. Um, so yeah, it, it's 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 been fun to kind of just be like, okay, this is your part. You're singing this harmony. Let's get to it. Memorize your lyrics. You know, so it's been a very very interesting time. And thank God we have the internet to kind of just connect again that way. So. Yeah, it's all coming together. Our band is pretty tight. You know, and Brentley, it's like he just kind of fell back into the songs again, you know, because he plays guitar and all sorts of different instruments. So that's that's going to be really fun. It is going to be a a blast for mm -hmm. sure. Um, Kelly, when you, when you do get, when people do see you on the street and you are out with your family or talking about it, what does your family, you have your family think about, when it was the moment they noticed like, hey, you are, you are somebody we all know. We grew up watching. What, what is the reaction like for the people that, for the family that was not around for when the show was on television? Yeah, they think it's pretty cool. My son, I think, finds it a little embarrassing. Um, <laughs> he moved here, I wanted to put my pinball machine in the game room, and he was like, no, why not? Because my friends already make fun of me. They're not, I'm not going to have you on a pinball machine in the game room. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so it's, I think they're proud and they think it's pretty cool, but there's also an element of, oh, uh, because they have to hear it from their friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Jenny, uh, people are playing their games and watching cartoons and not maybe don't realize like you have had a huge career as a voiceover actor and, and have done so much work. What is it like? To, I'm so jealous of, you know, I, you don't have to get fancy clothes on and put your makeup on and get in the booth and be able to be heard by millions and millions of people. What was that transition like to start to do voiceover work that we all love and enjoy from the, our homes and computers and video games? Well, it, it's it's funny because my very first job was, uh, was a singing job on a cartoon. And funny enough, actually, Heidi's stepdad is the producer of that show i remember when it came out it's it's such a weird small world but you know when i decided to get back into the voiceover industry it, it was interesting to kind of just trickle back in and it's actually just like anything else right what i always tell people is you do a lot of work before you start working. So this is my booth right behind me. And it's like, I'm in there 24 seven. And if I don't give myself a break, I don't have a break because luckily enough for me, it's it's very, very busy. Um, but it's, it's just funny, like now that I go to these different fan conventions, you know, sometimes people will come up to me and it's all ages, but sometimes people will come up to me for Avatar and they're like, oh my gosh, I love Avatar. My mom loves California Dreams. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just such a weird span, you know? But I'm grateful for it, you know? Because again, to be able to do this hustle in its different iterations, you know? You just make it work. Well, I, absolutely. And when you said that, I literally, that's how I, oh, we have children now. We are. <laughs> I know. Where I know. Childhood go? <laughs> Kelly, one of my favorite things about you and, and your career as well is without 
as SAG strikes, not going into specifics with all of it because we all stand in solidarity with all the actors. But I wanted to say one of the hardest things to do is to be yourself and, and be in front of people. And you've had a huge career also besides acting and, and what you've done as a host as a, in terms of different iterations. How is that? We talked about voiceovers. How is that transition from being a character to then being comfortable to be who you are and be in front of millions of people every single day and, and invite yourself into our homes? Luckily, it was an easy transition for me. And when the business took that turn back in whenever that was, 2002 maybe, and everything went to reality television, I was so lucky that I could go into the hosting world pretty seamlessly. And I, I, I just wasn't afraid to be myself and to have fun with it. So I found it very easy. I feel like I'm a pretty good host because I can just be myself and be fun and and keep it real. And so that was I was very lucky that I got to ride that for the three or four years that I did after Baywatch and when things shifted and I probably would have not been working. So it was good. Well, I know that for me. I'm excited about next week. Everyone that's wa listening and watching right now, if you, Tiffany, Samantha, right here, they'll be <laughs> they'll be on the stage just to give us one like a, an elevator pitch. Jenny, tell what, what are we gonna? What's the feeling? What are we gonna all feel like? What is it gonna be like when we walk in and when we walk out, so that we can all know what to expect? It's your energy right there, Robert, <laughs> right? It's all like the warm and fuzzies and. It's the nostalgia, it's the music that is bringing us together. And because so many people have loved it for all these years and have written to us through fan mail or our social media, we're doing this, we're giving this back to you guys. And we love, you know, what the show has brought to our lives and the music. And so it's just a really lovely way to share this. And why not now? It's, it's I, I want to say it's like I had this, this feeling after we did the first show of like, let's do a 90s Palooza. And here we are, you know, like there's so many different iterations of different musical bands coming back together. And um, we're part of it. We're excited to be part of it. And it's going to be great in New York City. That energy is going to carry us through. And we just hope everybody comes out and has some fun with us. It's about this nostalgia and this love that that is being brought together. And the cast is really excited to get together. So I think that's gonna permeate, you know, through the show. And I think we're just gonna have one big party. It's gonna be really fun, a celebration, right? Yes. Kelly, have you heard from people? Are we going to get to see this around the country? Because people probably can't, if they can't make it to New York, they're going to want to see it. I know. A lot of my feedback is, I can't make it. Please say you'll come to England. Please say you'll come to Ireland. And I, I hope. I really do. I, I don't want to be presumptuous that it's a no-brainer, but it is. It's a no-brainer. Like, take yeah. us overseas because that's where our fans are. And yes. those who can't afford, which, by the way, some are flying to New York, Absolutely. France and England and Germany. And that's mind blowing. But for those that can't do that, I want to be able to come to them and to bring our love and our appreciation to them. Yeah. Well, there you go. California 90s dream, meet and greet, attend from 10 to 3.30 and a live concert at 6.30 coming up Friday, October 13th at Stitch, which is a really fun place in New York City. If you have not been, you get Yes, come. You've been there, Robert. I sure have. Yes. I can still give it a little, a oh, little, yeah, fun, a little, <laughs> a little. <I> fun know. <laughs> Go to prekindle.com. Get your tickets. Make sure you follow Jenny on Instagram and you follow Kelly on Instagram so that you can click the link in the bios and get all the information and all the things that are to come. It's an honor to be with you both. You both uh, are a great memories and, and future memories as well of all the work that you've done. So thank you for all the joy and entertainment you brought to us all. Oh, thank you, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! The '90s were a long time ago. Doesn't it feel like the '90s were just like five years ago? I usually think like 1998 was five years ago. It was not. It was 28 years ago. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I hope to see you there. Uh, I hope you all have had fun with this trip down memory lane. And um, you know, we have a lot of trips down memory lane. We have a lot of new works we can go back to old works we talk about tv we talk about film we talk about broadway we talk about music we talk about it all right here on the round table i hope you join us every single uh episode mostly every single day lately thanks to the the luck 
and the viewership and the, uh, what do you call a podcast? Listeners? There you go. The listeners on the Broadway Podcast Network. If you want more information, go to robertbannon.com or follow me at The Roundtable at The Roundtable with Robert Bannon. I hope to see you again real soon. Uh, The best is always yet to come, even as we get old. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Bye, everybody.